Well, The Black Girl Next Door is a memoir. It's the story of my girlhood growing up in California in the 1970s and 80s. Uh, I was part of the first generation of African Americans and Americans generally who were born after segregation became illegal in this country. And the people of my generation spent our childhoods integrating this country and making the dream of integration real. And so The Black Girl Next Door is my story, but it's also the story of people who lived the experience of integration. Race relations for me were intimate. They were personal. Integration really is the story of American life and race relations, one soccer game and one school dance at a time. I think that societal pressures had a tremendous effect on my relationship with my family. And I think that one of the things that the book discusses in great detail is the way in which my parents who had grown up in segregation were raising us not out of their experience. They were raising me and crafting my girlhood not out of their experience. They were really crafting it based on their best hopes for what that girlhood could be. And so they couldn't relate at some level to the experiences that I was having living this integration experience, this integrated life. The thing I would want to say to adolescents and young people who are struggling in their own lives is grown-ups are doing the best that they can but they don't have any idea what your experience is really like and to the best of your ability you have to trust your instincts and really listen to that inner voice to figure out what might be best hopefully with the counsel of adults who love you but we now that I'm an adult we really don't know <laughs> so do your best to trust your instincts <laughs>